Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. It's been a day since the DLC trailer came out and I still haven't seen it. I've been traveling so much that I haven't had time to sit down and record my live reaction, which is exactly what we're going to be doing now. So without further ado, dizzle, manizzle, let's jump into this shizzle. Boom. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Ah. Wait a second. Let's get the sound. There we go. Okay, Dempsey liking it, Gondola, it certainly looks a bit chilly, right, yep, I'm liking it, that looks like a playable area that does, okay that's cool, nice he said the name, Okay, this is cool. I'm liking this vibe. What was he? What gun was that? Another suicide. I'm liking this style, man. It was Death Machine. <laughs> I feel like Big Eagle. And that was that was a bow and arrow. And Doe Wonder Fizz, obviously. That looks like it's straight out of Shangri La. Gravity spikes. <laughs> what? We are so playing that again. 100%. Oh my goodness, it's so short! Ah! Right, more. Again. Right, full screen this time. I'm liking the logo. The logo looks cool. The map looks cool. The gondola, I bet the gondola is going to be part of the playable area. It must be. If not, then what are they doing? This is the sort of stuff we've seen before. Yep, then we see the rocket, and he says, the German war machine. That's really interesting. We'll come back to that. Liking the vibe in that room. Der Eisendrache. That's what Dempsey says. Just like I've been saying for the last couple of weeks. With so many people like, oh, you've been saying it wrong. Nope. And you've got the Panzer. Lovely. You've got the Snipper Riffle. Lovely. When I first saw that just then, I was like, in my head, thinking, hold on, did I just see a Wunderwaffe? But then they showed the sniper again, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no. I like that vibe with the whole Corporal Tank Dempsey. All that stuff, that's cool. And then again, this focus on the rockets, and the rockets launching. And that didn't even look like the same rocket. Then obviously Nikolai goes flying through the air like a great big eagle. And a bow and arrow, the blue stuff, what was the blue stuff, man? And then you've got those things again, they're back. I'm liking the view there, by the way. Hold on. Hold on a moment, either I am imagining things for the purpose of my imagination, or it just sort of looks to me like those mountains in the background, like we've seen them before. Now I don't know if I'm getting sort of deja vu because of some promotional stuff that was released for Der Eisendrache, or if they're the mountains that we've seen in that one painting around the different maps of Black Ops 3. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's quite a wide, it's either wide or it's, I mean, they, they changed the orientation of it, I think, but there's a mountain, like a frozen icy mountain, and it sort of looks like what I'm seeing in the background there. So that's really interesting. Let's flick through this a little bit now, just briefly, and have a look at all of the stuff that is going on here, because boy, there is a lot of it. This is such a short trailer, but there's so much stuff packed in there. I think it was definitely worthy of having another look. So let's go from towards the beginning. We see this new logo and we've seen that logo. Actually, you can see it in this shot here on that red banner. It's, I guess, the crest of the castle or something like that. The Iron Dragon, I guess, is represented by that sort of skull looking logo. Looks pretty cool. I guess it's a dragon's head. Moving swiftly on, we then get a shot of the castle again, looking a little bit like it's in a state of disrepair. You've got what looks like some kind of collision with the top of it there that means it hasn't had 
too chilled out a history, as we know. Many horrible events have happened in this location. We see another shot of the courtyard there, which is cool. And again, that same courtyard. Then we see that room, which again has a gramophone in it. I don't know why. Is my gramophone around right now? I don't know. I have a gramophone, but I don't know if it's in there. Hey, hold on. One second. Ta-da! <laughs> right, moving straight back into the into the trailer. Again, so they talk about the German war machine. I wonder why that is suddenly a focus when in the past it's always been like an auxiliary plot point that hasn't really meant anything and we haven't really cared about it too much. I mean, that said, I sort of need to clarify that I'm not talking about an auxiliary plot point in terms of the stuff that happens on Moon. That is not what I mean at all. I'm talking specifically about the interplay between the German war machine and this new rebooted story we have, Post Origins, which basically means Origins, um, then Shadow, I was going to say Shangri-La, Shadows of Evil, and now this map as well. And the giant, of course, as well. It's just very... I don't know, it's peculiar. It really is. I don't know where it's going to lead us, but it just seems weird to me that Dempsey and co are so set on the German war machine when, what, three years ago, before Origins, we'd never heard of the damn thing, right? Little peculiar. Interesting though. Definitely important now. So moving on, we've got these rockets. Another thing I just want to say real quick. First of all, actually, that teleporter. Ah, oh, I just love seeing teleporters in zombies maps. You know why? Because teleporters are a freaking classic. <laughs> you cannot beat a standard run-of-the-mill teleporter. This is the exact same design that they've used in The Giant as well, by the looks of things. It looks extremely similar to the one that we see in that The Giant cutscene, so I'm liking the look of it very much. Looks really nice. This room with the celestial sphere with the iron cross on it at the top looks very nice as well. I'm liking this machinery that is in there and this stone dragon that there is in the background. I don't know what this machinery is going to lead to. Is it sort of a bit like a number station? Are they monitoring the outside somehow? I don't know. This shot is cool, seeing Dirt Eyes and Dracha written out like that. I will definitely cut that out and use that for plenty of thumbnails, no doubt. You can see the mystery box light, of course. You can also see a hole in the building on the left, so that's going to be a playable area. That's not going to be not playable. That will sort of lead onto the path that goes up to the castle, it looks like. And you can also play it in the bottom right there because you can see some rebuildable barriers, which is cool. So the map is small, sort of relative to shadows, but certainly not very small. It's got plenty of space. And then we see the panzers. What on earth are the panzers doing here? For real. Like... Bruh? <laughs> this isn't Origins. A, the panzers were kind of annoying in Origins because the damn claw was so just... Ugh, I hate that claw so much. Deary me, and sometimes it wouldn't work and you'd just die and it was just like, I'm just, I'm just upset right now. But at the same time, in terms of the story, oh, my voice is like, story! <laughs> in terms of the story, I think it's really interesting that they're back again. Because we saw them in Origins and now that we're seeing them here, but we didn't see them in the Giant, I'm sure there's something we can figure out in terms of their relevance and what exactly their meaning is and all that good stuff. Very peculiar that they are back here, very much so. Like in this shock wave going through the zombies here, this lightning bolt, very cool stuff. Those traps, I guess, just look beast, so that's a positive for show. Richtofen wielding his weapon. He's gonna snipe some zombarinos. I guess that's their way of replacing the dialogue from previous map pack trailers, where they'll say, we're catering to all sorts of player here. We've got long range, we've got short range, we've got tight close quarters and much more open combat areas. They used to do that all the time during Black Ops 1, and I guess this is sort of a way of them saying that without saying it. So pretty cool, I suppose. Nikolai looking rather unhappy there. Sergeant Nikolai Belinsky, Dr. Edward Richthofen, Captain Takio Masaki, and Corporal Tank Dempsey. 
So we actually see him holding a death machine. Obviously, first we see this shot. You've got your gobble gums there. You've got these doors opening. And this is a really cool shot. It looks like this rocket is literally going to launch at any time. Like, it just looks like it's about to set off for wherever. Now, I wanted to come back to the rockets because I don't think that these rockets are actually going to be going to the moon. I just don't see it happening. I don't think that the design is right for that to happen. I think that if the rockets look like the one that we see in Ascension, for example, then maybe, then I could pass judgment and say, you know what, that could happen. But these rockets are very distinct from those rockets, right? And I don't think that these are necessarily meant to be going to outer space, which means maybe no moon. That said, I don't know if we can teleport to the moon. I mean, for goodness sake, Maxis has been in a tunnel underground and has then been plucked from his position by other people. He hasn't, hasn't even teleported himself. He's done that before, so we know the technology is there, albeit it's there in the future of the other timeline, not of this timeline, which is an interesting little caveat, I must admit. Let's move on. I'm not sure if those rockets are going to be going to the moon. They do look very cool, though. That doesn't look like the rocket that we just saw. That is a different design. What's going on there? I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. This is cool. We see Richthofen sliding along there. And then the death machine. What? 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 The Death Machine, for those of you that don't remember, was the Easter Egg reward at the end of the Ascension Easter Egg. Each player would get a Death Machine for 90 seconds. And that was it. And a lot of people thought that there was more because of that, because they were like, surely after all this hard work, it actually ended up being surely after all this data mining, unfortunately, surely there must be more to the Ascension Easter Egg. Unfortunately, there wasn't and there isn't. But that was the reward regardless. We're now getting Death Machines back on this map. Thank you, Treyarch. It's cool to see that sort of thing in the game. That said, I don't know if it's going to be particularly viable because the LMGs in this game, like if you're playing with the Dingo, for example, you'll notice that if you aim down sight and start shooting them zombies, you sort of slow down. So with a Death Machine, you're going to be absolutely crawling around the map. You're going to be in prone the whole time, but standing up. You're going to be moving that damn slowly. So I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe there'll be more mobile in this map. I really don't know, but it's cool to see them implemented regardless. I like the jump pad. That's a sort of shout out to Moon, I guess, in a way. Another interesting shout out to Moon. Uh, we've had so many of them. That's another one, I suppose. Even more contraptions. What a game. That Wonder Fizz is cool to see, I suppose. I'm glad that we've got the Wonder Fizz back. That blue fire, I'm guessing, is something on the floor that's been activated or something along those lines. Definitely looks very interesting. We've got loads of zombies getting killed. We've got these things on the walls, very similar to Mob of the Dead, of course. Wouldn't be able to make a review like this or make a reaction like this and not mention the fact that they are straight out of Mob of the Dead. Very interesting looking, I must admit. And overall, and then gravity spikes, kaboom, zombies go flying, they all ragdoll, mwah, perfect, I love it. So, without further ado, I'm going to probably end this video here. I'm, it's sort of, it's hard to say, this trailer has been really weird because I'm actually getting to the end of my time limit here, I've got to be really quick. It's weird because it sort of just left me wanting to see more. I feel like that was such a tiny tease, I just need more, right now. <laughs> So, I have been Mr. Awful Waffles. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of the gramophone, then leave a like. If you haven't, let me know why in the comment section down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.